Minnesota Forge Rally Veterans Class Week 2. Practice six of the following signs one time each. Later in the day, practice the other five signs one time each. This is the 270 right sign. Practice this sign on your own a couple of times before you do it with your dog. Follow the arrow on the sign. Do not go around the sign. Lure your dog around you with the treat and work towards not having to use the treat as a lure. This is the 270 left sign. Practice this sign on your own a couple of times before you do it with your dog. Follow the arrow on the sign. Do not go around the sign. Lure your dog with a cheat and work towards not having to use the cheat as a lure. This is the moving sidestep right. When you get to the sign, take a step straight to the right. Do not take a horizontal step to the right. The sign should now be on your left side. This is the only rally sign that can be passed to the right of the sign. This is the call front finish halt sign. You can finish in either direction for this sign. The dog must sit at your left side before you keep healing. This is a call front finish halt with a left finish. This is a call front finish halt with a right finish. This is the call front finish forward sign. You can finish in either direction for this sign. Compare this sign to the call front finish halt. The call front finish halt has a stop sign on it. This means that your dog should sit after he finishes. For this sign, your dog will not sit after he finishes. As soon as you see your dog's head coming towards your left leg, start walking. During training, you can heel forward a few feet and then stop and reward your dog. This is a call front finish forward with a right finish. This is a call front finish forward with a left finish. This sign is the serpentine weave once. The first cone should be on your left side. Go through the cones one at a time. This is the straight figure eight weave twice. The first cone should be in your left side. When you get to the end of the cones, turn around and come back. This is the halt one, two, three steps forward sign. Stop and have your dog sit. Then take one step forward and have him sit again. Take two steps and stop, and take three steps and stop. It is very important to count the number of steps correctly and not to take any little steps or shuffles in between or after the big steps. This is the call front one, two, three steps backwards sign. As you are healing, say your dog's name and come and run backwards a few steps. Have your dog sit in front of you. Then say your dog's name and come again. Back up one step and have him sit in front of you. Do the same thing but take two steps back and have him sit. Now take three steps backward and have your dog sit. It is very important to count the number of steps correctly and not to take any little steps or shuffles in between or after the big steps. This is the spiral right sign. The first cone should be on your right side. Make a big circle around all three cones. Then walk around the first two cones and then the first cone. Your dog should be on the outside of the circles you're making. This is the spiral left sign. The first cone should be on your left side. Make a big circle around all three cones. Then walk around the first two cones and then the first cone. Your dog should be on the inside of the circles you're making. Practice only takes minutes a day 
and it really pays off in the long run.